Last year, lawmakers gave Wisconsin pharmacists and police a new tool designed to catch people making meth. Last month, Vilas County showed that new system works. Police arrested Scott Schmidt and Stephanie Wolf on March 30th for making meth in Schmidt's Eagle River home. News Watch 12's Allie Herrera joins us live in the studio with more on how police tracked them down. Allie, good evening. Lane, the real-time electronic log tracks sales of over-the-counter medications containing pseudoephedrine. Wisconsin law limits the amount of pseudoephedrine a person can buy to 7.5 grams in a 30-day period. The drug is commonly found in some over-the-counter allergy and cold medications, but it can also be used to manufacture methamphetamine in small home-based labs like the one found in Vilas County. Police think this apartment in Eagle River was being used as a meth lab. We believe that they were probably making methamphetamine for themselves, but they were also uh, believed to be selling some of that. They are 33-year-old Scott Schmidt of Eagle River and 34-year-old Stephanie Wolf of Grand Rapids, Michigan. They were arrested on March 30th at this apartment attached to feral gas on Highway 45. Police started looking into Schmidt and Wolf after a Vilas County Sheriff's officer was checking local pharmacy logs and felt something didn't add up. According to this criminal complaint, Schmidt and Wolf went to pharmacies in Wausau, Oshkosh, and Grand Rapids, Michigan to buy pseudoephedrine. And they were exceeding the limit in Vilas County, but then they were traveling, they made a loop like down to Appleton and up into the UP and then back and around. The complaint shows the two bought at least 80 grams of pseudoephedrine between November 29th of 2017 and March 28th of this year. Larry Thompson says his pharmacy in Eagle River has worked with police in the past. The Wall Street pharmacy has been keeping track of people who buy pseudoephedrine products for years. All are behind the counter. Loratadine or Claritin, Zyrtec, um, all, those, all those products have a formulation that has pseudoephedrine available. Thompson couldn't tell us if he worked with police on this specific case, but says hopefully this process has helped stop drug abuse. Smaller producers um, are hopefully hindered by the fact that they have to gather small amounts from various outlets in order to uh, accumulate enough medication to you know, do their, their cooking. Two people who had been manufacturing methamphetamine for some time were taken into custody and, and hopefully they won't be manufacturing in Vilas County ever again. Sheriff Fath says this is the first time the Vilas County Sheriff's Office has made an arrest by using the NPLEX database. Schmidt and Wolf are each facing six drug felony related charges. They're both in jail on bond. All right.